I think we're actually live now, but we'll give them a minute to kind of join. I, I also, as we're going live, Bill, I'm going to try to let this pop up on my phone so I can share it. This is Michael Pretty Man talking in the background, and uh, we're getting ready to do what day, I think this is the day three blog of your video blog of Bill Owens. After it's the day three blog, we'll explain more what that means in terms of days of uh, testing. Okay, there it is. I'm going to share this to my page. Share now. Give some people a chance to start uh, tuning in. Gene Gammon is watching. So, and uh, and I'm trying to think of what else here. Let some more people join. This is the day three blog of uh, video blog of Bill Owens going uh, on his COVID-19 journey, as we're calling it. And uh, Terry Short is watching. And uh, of course, guys, be sure, I just shared this out on my page. Uh, you guys uh, share this out on your page. Connie's watching. Um, share this out on your page, because Bill's gonna kind of fill us in for his uh, day three of the blog of what's going on. We'll give you a kind of a more accurate day count here in a minute of what's going on as far as when he thinks he might have come in contact, uh, when he did get his test done, and uh, there's somebody over there that bought a $5,000 car and spent another $5,000 to make it really loud going down the street. Okay, so, and now they have a $3,000 car. So, all right, Terry's watching, Brendan's watching, and we know we'll have other people joining. Guys, share this out on your page. We'll go ahead and get started. I'll start out by asking Bill, how are you feeling today? Hey, I uh, feel great, Michael. I appreciate you doing the, uh, the blog for me and uh, helping me sort of get the message out to people, especially to people who may be going through the virus personally, so yeah. Yeah, and just to kind of uh, pick up, c correct me as I, as I, if I say anything wrong, just to kind of give you a timeline, you can go back to Bill's Facebook and watch some of the day one and day two of this blog, but Bill, um, about two, uh, two uh, 15 days ago, two, uh, it was Thursday a couple of weeks ago is when you came in contact with somebody who tested positive and you did not know it at the time obviously right. yeah. but they tested positive and uh, and so uh, for the COVID-19 so that was about 15 days ago so Bill as soon as he found out which was not immediately he didn't find out uh, but as soon as he found out he began social distancing uh, uh, just because and immediately scheduled a, a testing uh, for COVID-19 and was not able to get your test done until last Friday, seven days ago, Friday, one week ago. Right. So that's when he yep. had the test done uh, just to make sure uh, to see if he was positive or not. And uh, then of course he's, he was social distancing and isolating. Now, let me just reiterate, Bill has not had any symptoms. He's been feeling as good as you can feel whenever I mean you're as old as he is I mean so I mean it's <laughs> I better be careful so but uh but uh he's he's been feeling okay and everything else he didn't go because he felt symptomatic or anything that's been some of the questions he went uh purely to be for as a precaution and actually yeah this is this is my third time to be tested because I've been uh proactive trying to make sure that if I did come into contact with uh, the virus somewhere along the way, that I would, ca uh, you know, uh, catch it early, uh, you know, and not expose other people to it. So, so this is just part of my routine plan. But uh, you know, and he's and and uh, and and this one probably was probably the most, you know, thought if I really if I got it, I probably did get it. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's true. So uh, so whenever he. So he, uh, so anyway, he's been he's been doing well. So now it has now been seven days since you had your test. The CDC released something that Hamilton County adopted that said after ten days from your positive test, they said you can kind of go back to your normal life if you haven't been fever free and symptomatic free and all this type of thing. Uh, so that day I think would technically be Monday for you because yes. your test was Friday. But uh, but so far no symptoms, no nothing, and you're gonna kind of play it by ear. Maybe go a little longer than that just to be safe. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think I'm going to err on the uh, other side and uh, uh, just sort of keep out of uh, 
out of the public eye for yeah. the remainder of next week. Uh, I, I know one of the things that uh, the exposure to other people, uh, those people who know me personally know that uh, uh, my mother-in-law lives uh, same place where I do, except that uh, what they may not understand is she has her own uh, living quarters and everything, which includes her bath and bedroom and garage and kitchen, living room. She has everything there. So she and I have absolutely uh, zero uh, contact. So, you know, so, so there are some good points to uh, the being, uh, uh, <laughs> well, I better not say that, had I? Well, yesterday. hey, let me just say this. I, I, <clears throat> many of y'all know Miss Bohannon. She's a sweet, wonderful lady. Many of you know Bill. You, whatever you think of Bill, you think of Bill. <laughs> but living with an in-law could be i could imagine living with my in-laws or you know it's a it's a it's not exactly probably the most ideal situation in some people's minds so uh, yeah. but uh bill managed to do it very well in my opinion yeah and well and she's 91 <laughs> and we really want to protect her so we simply have no no communication uh, other than by phone or whatever so uh she is completely safe uh another question that has come come up and this was based on my misunderstanding of my first call from, I, I think, the other county where I actually had the test. And um, I thought she was telling me because she was talking about the, uh, the 30 days and so forth. Uh, but I actually had the swab test, not the antibody test. I'd had the antibody test earlier but this last one was the swab test, so it was looking specifically for uh, whether or not I was positive. So I wanted to make sure I cleared that up. So that was, that was a little confusing on my part, and I communicated that confusion, so you know. So hey, and guys, be sure to share this out on your page. If, you're, if you are watching, just that share button should be right there. Just hit share that way, because I know a lot of people have been trying to, wanting to follow the blog, and we're just kind of doing it at random times of the day, so. But uh, anyway, go ahead, Bill. Yeah. But well, you know, and, and I'm really fortunate. I, I'm in a position where I've been uh, a pastor here since 1980 uh, in Chattanooga. And so I have a lot of contacts, and that has helped me uh, to, to get some things done. And that's why I want to communicate to others who might be struggling. And I want to say just a, a special thank you to, uh, to Connie for expressing, Tani for uh, expressing her concern. Uh, about the uh, the attitude and you know if you're going through vi uh, the uh, virus or you know you think you might have it you don't want someone smacking your hand and uh, so uh, you know we all have to be real real careful and non-judgmental I mean you don't have to do anything to get the virus uh, you just uh, you get it so I, I do appreciate Tani uh, coming to the uh, rescue there and maybe reminding other uh, health work uh, personnel to uh, to be very considerate uh, of what the uh, the victims are going through, uh, not just physically but also mentally and and spiritually. So it's been a tough time, and um, I so I, I appreciate the understanding, which also leads me to another parallel thought, and that is one of the things I've noticed about uh, some people. Uh, I, I do believe in the social distancing, obviously, but uh, it's like uh, some people look at it and uh, it's almost, uh, you know, they would move to the other side of the street rather than be anywhere close to me. And uh, so that, that paranoia is uh, not really necessary. Uh, you know, we can all keep a six-foot distance uh, from someone and uh, still remain safe. So uh, I'm a firm believer of that. So if you encounter someone, uh, don't don't treat them like, uh, you know, they have the plague. They have COVID, which is, uh, you know, uh, maybe just as bad, but still, <laughs> I mean, remember, they're, they're still a human. So those are two things I want to communicate. And I have been very pleased with the... Uh, the last two people that I have talked to from the Hamilton County Health Department, one was uh, the lady who called to tell me uh, follow up uh, that I was waiting for when I, yesterday when I spoke and thought that the call might be uh, forever because they had told me it could take as long as 48 hours, but it was in about 20 minutes. 
and uh, it was a very helpful call and uh, she had received some misinformation and so forth and uh, but she was uh, very excited and happy for me uh, that things were not as they had been reported to her so that, that was a little bit confusing and uh, she was very reassuring uh, about me getting back out into society so I appreciate that then I had another call from a health department worker uh, and uh, that person was also very uh, helpful and had several suggestions to make including one that that was extremely important and that is uh, for me to go uh, if indeed I have had the uh, the virus then to go to blood assurance and donate a unit of blood this unit of blood then would have the uh, capability of helping six virus uh, uh, individuals overcome the infection. So just one pint of blood. So if any of you have had the virus, consider going to uh, uh, Blood Assurance and making that donation, specifying that you want it to be used for the uh, virus recovery. So. And so far, once again, you know, just kind of reiterating, as you guys are sharing this out with everybody else, Bill has been um, uh, asymptomatic. Uh, as far as we can tell, he's not had any symptoms. And, you know, I, I know some. that's one thing that I really like to get out there and want people to know because I know there's been even a couple of other people. I wouldn't call Bill a public figure, but he is. A lot of people know Bill in Chattanooga, and I even know some another pastor had, had it, and a lot, a lot of the questions were, well, is he sick? How's he doing? Is he in the hospital? And uh, Bill's, Bill's been doing very well with it. And there are people who have struggled, I mean, struggled with uh, the COVID-19 uh, virus, and uh, Bill's fortunate to be one of the ones who's not, and uh, at, right now anyway. And so, uh, so anyway, we just want to kind of reassure everybody that um, Bill's doing well. Um, he's in day seven since the testing uh, right. date, uh, you know, and the, once again, they suggest going till day 10, uh, trying to kind of stay isolate or uh, uh, quarantine and uh, that type of thing. So, uh, but uh, so we're just praising the Lord for that. And uh, um, and so once again, just to reiterate, because somebody did ask yesterday on your Facebook Live, and you already said this, but I'll say it again. He was tested not because he was feeling symptoms. He, they said, why why did he get tested? And he got tested because of the yeah yeah that the uh, the testing was just as a precaution. Uh, you know, I know some people say, well, why get tested if you don't have any symptoms? Well, because like me, uh, you could go several days without showing those symptoms and possibly be contagious. So I think it's always important for us to be tested. This was my third test this year uh, since the virus uh, uh, outbreak. So, uh, and I continue, I will continue to be tested on a regular basis just to make sure that I, I don't pick it up along the way. And you know, we were taken as a church, uh, and I won't go far off here, but we've taken some precautions. We just decided for the next three Sundays, the last Sunday in July and the first two Sundays in August, that we're just gonna go to Facebook Live only. Um, and the, the church has been sanitized. As a matter of fact, uh, the cleaning crew was there again this morning and it smells like uh, Clorox <laughs> everywhere in, uh, in Lysol and everything else. But. Uh, but uh, that's just a precaution. Yeah, and, and of course, I'm fortunate because Tony is the assistant pastor, so Tony is going to be preaching for the next couple of weeks. We just changed our schedule around some, and then I will come back uh, next month uh, with the, uh, the sermon when, uh, I guess, the last Sunday of our uh, just, uh, you know, online uh, uh, worship service. Which so. we're still offering nine and 10.30. Right, yes, um, at both times. You'll, so, you'll be yes. able to catch it on Facebook at nine and 10 30 but uh but anyway that's uh so bill's doing well today there's day number three and uh once again he's about 15 possible days into maybe an exposure date we don't right. you never know what an yeah. exposure date was you can never know that but we do know that he is seven days away from his test date uh with the day that he tested positive uh that's that's what we do know yeah and one thing that i have uh discussed with several people uh, the situation in which I think I might have been exposed uh, to the virus, uh, there were several other people who were exposed, uh, and uh, some have been really sick, 
Others have had just a, a trace of, uh, of uh, symptoms or whatever. Um, but, you know, as far as I've been able to tell, you know, uh, there's about four or five of us that have been totally uh, symptom free. And so we're, we're thankful for that, even though I came up unregistered positive. I, I do want to say another thing on a personal note. I was scheduled to do a funeral today for uh, Barbara Elliott Evans. And uh, the hardest thing I ever had to do was to call her son and tell her that I would not be able to do that funeral. So yesterday I, I sent them some personal comments about my relationship with Barbara because I've known her for years and years. And, uh, but I, I, I do want you to pray for her. She has three boys. Uh, I want you to pray for her uh, family uh, as they continue to go through this unique time with, with their grief. So thank you so much for that one. So, yeah. All righty. Well, I think we got it all covered. So uh, anything else? Are we nope. good? I think we're good. Right. So I appreciate it very much. And uh, so I'll see you all tomorrow. We're about to uh, get through this. And uh, I want to do give you give you some research work. Uh, someone has suggested to me that ty uh, the blood type may be a factor in how serious our symptoms are. Uh, someone else has suggested that uh, because I was on an antibiotic at the time of exposure, that that might have been a factor. So if you get a chance to uh, look at those uh, two situations, uh, please do so, and we'll see if we can come up with. Uh, uh, possibility that might help other people. Okay, stay safe. All right. Well, let me hit the finish button here. Okay, you ready to go to Florida? I'm, ready? I'm ready to go to Florida. You're ready to go to Florida? Oh, wait, I forgot to hit the finish button. Uh, hold on a minute. We're not going to Florida. We're not going on vacation. Here we go. All right, finish. <laughs>